Hello, everyone. Let me ask you this. What is your favorite story? And why is it your favorite one? Think about it. So mine is probably the story of the happy prince. Do you remember the prince, um, the sculpture and of a prince that stood um, amidst, in the middle of a small little town. And the sculpture was that of a very kind-hearted prince who could not bear to see anybody in pain and in trouble. So what he would do is, he the sculpture was made out of gold. It was plated with gold. It was you know, uh, embedded with a lot of precious jewels and it was embedded with beautiful um, semi-precious jewels and everything of that sort. The eyes were made of blue diamonds, right? And he had a waist belt with a lot of beautiful gems and stones. So whenever the sculpture would see anybody in pain or in any tra kind of trouble, he would take a little piece of uh, precious stone or a little bit of the gold and give it off. So that is the way the prince continued to give away parts of his body, parts from his own sculpture, until he was left with nothing. He was His last piece of blue diamond from the eye, that too he gave away. So every time I used to hear this story, I would have a teary eye. Years later, when I uh, try to recollect as to what was my favorite story, this is the one that stands out the most. And <clears throat> I was trying to think, why is it that I still remember this so vividly? When I retrospected really deeply, I realized that it was because of the emotional connection that it had with me. So when it comes to any form of art, our expression must resonate with our audience emotionally. So when it comes to visual arts, we can define the, the success or the goodness of any form of visual art in terms of two things. One is your visual impact. Of course, that's the main one because, you know, unless your painting looks really appealing, looks vibrant, looks dull, whatever, the way you want to connect, um, that's the visual appeal that it is going to have, the visual impact that it is going to make. But equally important is the aspect of emotional connect aspect of how your painting is going to connect with your audience emotionally. Will it make them think and stop or uh, will it make them um, go back to memories somehow? Right. That is what makes all the difference in a painting. Thank you. Bye-bye.